Hey everyone, Mithras here. Welcome to the show today. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly go over uh, the pieces needed for Veramos. Um, I'm currently working towards uh, getting him myself. And I do have everything here right now. Um, I have the Dark Yeti. I have all the pieces that are needed to get Undine. Um, as well as the uh, Fire Succubus and Wind Vampire here. Um, I do not have enough uh, stuff to make them all fives right now, but one of the things that I just wanted to do is quickly do the awakening for the majority of these guys that are going to go into uh, Veramos here and get the other pieces. Um, I already have Beast Hunter and uh, the Fire Imp Dude already awakened, uh, so I'm just going to go through them and show you what I got, and hopefully I have enough stuff to get there. Otherwise, we'll find out together uh, what I need to still get. Um, so we're going to go to the monster tab here, and we're going to start out with uh, the Grim guy. So uh, Water Grim Reaper is one of the guys needed uh, here for Vramos. Uh, looks like we're good on awakening him here. So let's just do this. All right, and I guess I could probably put on a little volume for you guys, huh? Might as well, huh? All right, so we have him. I'm going to move this over there. All right, so Hemos, check. Uh, next, we have the Water Harpy here. So, yep, enough stuff for Water Harpy. I think I'm going to run into problems, though, because I can already tell these mid-magic ones. Um, it looks like I can only do five, and when we looked at all this stuff, I definitely had more than that. So we will just keep going here and then figure out what I need to focus on this week to grind out the different elements. So there's Ramira. Okay. Now we also have the uh, water pixie here, and also water bearman. So this, at least this one's cheap. This is a cheap one. We like that. All right. Casey, check. All right, and I think the last one that we need from the water is going to be that bear man. And where are you, bear man? There you are. All right. We can get our bear man here. Hopefully we got enough. Good in the clear. All right, let's get him awakened. But like I said, I think that will leave me with like four left for the mid I'm probably gonna have to grind more Ruda what a tough name huh anyway all right so I think that concludes for the water um, we have beast hunter the fire imps checked uh, we need to do iron here I believe so living armor uh, let's awaken him yeah three left uh, dang it And what stinks is last week was all the dungeons, all of them, and definitely could have did math on this, but kind of lazy about that. There's iron. All right. Next in fire, I think I need fire salamander. Let me just check my list here. Yep, fire salamander is one that I need. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Finally, a cheap one. Uh, mid though. Uh. All right, fire salamander. Here we go. Boom! Look at that crack down. Crack the down is mine. Looks so tough, huh? Anyway, all right. So fire salamander. So iron salamander and imp. I think that concludes the fire. So on to wind. So wind, we need this guy here, Harpoo. 
Need our wind harpoon. Alright. Five. Uh, 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 uh. What's this guy take? We also need him. He's ten. Okay. Five. It's fifteen. And he's ten. Hmm. Let's wait on the harpoon and let's just get these two guys. So we're gonna get Lizard Man. Yes, we will awaken him. Alright, Lizard Man, here we go. Boom! Velfinodon. Whatever you say that as. Sweet. Alright, Lizard Man, check. Uh, Harpoo, we're gonna wait on. Let's get the Minotaur. Minotauros. We're gonna awaken him. Because we know now that I'm gonna have to grind out some essences. Uh, in Tau. I believe. It's pretty, pretty beef looking, huh? Little beefcake there. Moo. Uh, anyway. Alright, so. If we look at how much stuff I have, I don't think I have enough. So we have Dark Yeti left. Ooh, I could do the Yeti. I thought maybe he would take. Oops, sorry about the lighting there. I definitely thought he was going to take a mid, but he doesn't. So we can get him as well. Alright, Yeti, here we go. Jill, yeah, look at him. He's Kume. He's coming. Kume. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Let's just, there we go. I think that's better. Alright. Sweet. So, I have the Harpy left. And I think I can probably get that done today. I think. But let's just double check. So, we have Harpu. Um, we'll go check our fusion stuff here again quick. Alright, so we have... Oh, we need that guy too. Oh, wrong one. We want Bramos. Bramos, Bramos. So we did this guy, Humos. He was already done. We did... I don't think we did him. Um, we did Gruda. Did crack on. He's already done. We didn't do Harpoo. And then that guy. So I think we have two wind guys left. So Harpoo and Inferno. And just to double check quick. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. So we have Harpoo. And where's the Inferno? And Inferno's right there. Okay, so he's not quite full yet. All right, so we only got those two left. Way to go. Nice work. I will try and grind this stuff out here quick, and hopefully we can get to the next stage of completing our Ramos. Hey, everyone. Mithras here. I'm back. Uh, spent some time the last couple days trying to get the rest for my monsters to awaken them for Ramos. Uh, the two that I have left are Wind Harpy and the Wind uh, Inferno still need to be awakened. So briefly, I'm just going to go ahead and, and awaken these two so that we can start summoning the pieces for Veramos, uh, which I'm super, super excited about. Hopefully, I should be able to have Veramos by the end of the week. Uh, my plan is to spend some gems on the Experience Booster to uh, farm Famian so that I can quickly get these guys up um, as well as uh, get enough uh, four star monsters so that I can then make everything five star to summon Ramos. The other thing is hopefully this week 
I'll be able to get enough pieces uh, for materials to awaken all the other guys that I have as well after summoning. I know that they do take quite a bit more materials. I really don't want to necessarily spend a whole bunch of mana trying to uh, fuse each of the parts that I'm missing. I would sooner try and acquire them through runs just because it's going to be a lot better uh, resource wise to uh, do that. So um, now I have all the parts needed to summon uh, each of the pieces uh, to get Vramos. Uh, and quickly here we can relook at it. So we have enough to get uh, McKean, Akia, and Argon. And then I already have the um, Dark Yeti as well. And so before I start summoning though, I am going to power up my Dark Yeti to five so that we know that he's done and all we gotta do is get him maxed. So here we go. And my four pieces here. All right. Oh, look at that. And we got some Yetis in there. Just gonna gain some skills. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Not that he really needs any skills, but because <clears throat> we don't plan on using them. All right, let's try that again. All right, so let's evolve. Yep. Boom, five star dark yeti awesome and he is going to be a strong guy so now we completed our dark yeti we unlocked all the pieces for the other uh, fusions that we need obviously one of the things we've been really lucky about was in the last chasing trophy monsters episode uh, we were able to pick up the wind vampire here so all we'll need to do is summon the other two pieces. Now the other thing that I went ahead and did over the past week was collect enough of the um, essences for awakening each of these guys as well and I have got all the um, four star monsters that I need to be able to up everything to five stars so then I can eventually summon Vramos. So the plan today is going to be uh, getting these other fusion pieces uh, completed and kicking it off with a trip to the shop to purchase the additional XP boosters for three days to hopefully be enough to get me through uh, leveling everything to five and then we can summon Vramos. So that's been my strategy uh, to make this happen. So first off, we need to get Undine, and we also need to get uh, Fire Succubus here. Now, just to double check, we'll show you there's Varamos. So we have the Vampire, uh, we have Undine, or we don't have Undine, and we don't have Fire Succubus, and we do have um, the Dark Yeti. Um, the other thing that I worked on too is make sure that you get enough uh, mana. Uh, most of you will probably be able to get it when you try and use the XP farming uh, if you're doing Famian Hell or um, Hard or whatever it is that you're doing. So anyway, um, let's uh, kick this off here. I'm going to add a little bit of little bit of volume so we can uh, go through and get these monsters through our fusion. All right, so now I need to set these monsters as fusion. You just click on them. Um, don't hit select. That will give you that. You need to actually click it like that uh, to get the monsters selected for fusion. Um, the other thing I did as well is I removed all of my runes from the monsters that I was using. So I was using Beast Hunter for uh, wind dungeons early on. All right. Why you suck you guys? All right. So we got fire succubus, vampire, dark yeti, now Dean. Fusion number 
part two. Awesome, very exciting. Yeah, so one of the things I definitely recommend uh, as you're playing through the game, when you win the uh, eight or 12 hour bumps in your XP, definitely use those to level up your fusion mats because that has been my strategy. And uh, it's worked out fairly well. So now that we have all the pieces, we need to get those to five star. So again, having enough four star fodder to make them five, but we want to do this quickly. So we need some XP boosters. So we're going to take a trip to the shop. And we're going to go over to special here. And we are going to drop 200 crystals uh, for a three-day increase XP for all monsters by 100%. Um, so we are going to do this. Ooh. Awesome, we won that one. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we have the package delivered to our inbox. Uh, we're going to use it. And now we're going to go farm Famine. And I will leave you there. And next time you see me, hopefully we'll be able to summon this Veramos we've been after. So, see you in a bit. Alright, so now we've completed our first initial uh, leveling. Uh, getting each of the four stars to their respective max levels and we are just quickly going to go and level each of these to five stars so here we go we got the vampire gotta find my fodder one two three four and put that there and let's evolve yes Probably put on a little bit of volume here, actually. All right. Vampire check. Now we have... Fire succubus. Fire Succubus to five, and the last one here, Ondeen. And fodder. One, two. Oop, not that one. Perfect. Evolve. All right, awesome. All at five star now. Perfect. So just to show that, we'll go to our fusion here to get him. They each got to be at five star and also awakened. So the other thing that we will do now is we will awaken uh, these monsters as well. So we have Dean. And awaken. To McKean, all right. Let's do Fire Succubus now. Kia, all right. Now for the vampire. This is so exciting and so dramatic at the same time. Argan, there we go. All right, one step closer to Veramos. All we have to do now is continue to pump our XP here uh, for 65 hours. Hopefully we can do it in less than that and get our Veramos. So see you soon. 
Hey everyone, finally we did it. I was able to get everyone boosted to max level, uh, five star and awaken to summon Varamos. So we got a few hours left on our XP booster, so I wanna get him summoned and start working on leveling him up. So once again, here are all the pieces that you will need for Varamos. There we go. This has been a journey in the making. Super, super excited about this. All right, here we go. Look at that. Boom. So excited, that is awesome. Super, super excited. So let's just take a quick look at him. 50% crit damage. Skills, get our health boost. Look at that, and we can awaken him. Why not do that as well? Let's do it. Vamos. Sweet, now I just need to run them up. Well, that will conclude all the effort to get Ramos, I wish you the best of luck in obtaining this awesome mon. Uh, all I would say is as you level to 40 when you start, just try and collect as many of the fusion pieces, any XP boosters that you get, slowly boost your stuff, uh, boost the fusion, get the fodder that you need to get everything to 5, and then each day, each week, just hit each of those dungeons to get the awakened mats. And ultimately, when you get kind of towards that tail end, like I did, go out and purchase that XP booster, and that will definitely help you do it. I, I went a lot slower than I was hoping to do, but you could probably definitely get it done in a day. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, leave feedback, subscribe to my channel. Uh, enjoy every moment of Summoner's War. Take care.